Today is going to be a great day. This is your day for something new. This is your day to make it through. This is your day to so come along and see what you can do. womencom and Stacia Pierce TV. I am super excited today because we are getting ready for our last tour stop in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm going to share with you a little bit of behind the scenes from the workshop. What I mean is I'm going to share with you some content that I'll be sharing in the Atlanta workshop about image rules. And so, you know, a lot of questions that we've been getting here at LifeCoachingWomen.com headquarters is, is image really ruling right now? Does it really matter? And yes, the answer is a resounding yes. And so I have a worksheet here that I'm going to be talking about. I'm not going to give you all of it. You have to show up to the Atlanta tour, but I'm going to give you some of it and share with you why image rules right now. You know, it's so important because social media has taken a turn with Instagram and Pinterest and all these different image um, sites. And it makes a big difference because now people want to see more pictures. And so it used to be a time when people would read tons and tons of content and they would stay on your blog for hours and just read through all of your um, blog posts and everything you had to say. But now the tide has turned and people want to see pictures. And so it's so great to add even to your blog, to add a picture, a graphic that kind of describes what you're talking about in your blog. I found that when I work with my clients and even myself, when we add pictures to the blog, that they get read more, people engage 90% more. That's what our surveys have told us, that people like to read the blog with a picture. When we asked our audience, they said, we definitely want a picture. So that means that image rules. So I wanna give you a few pointers here concerning why image rules what and what you need to do about it. So number one, yes, image rules, and yes, you need to make sure that you are adding pictures to your blog. Number two, yes, my goodness, I hope that you have a Pinterest and an Instagram page already. Sometimes people say, I don't want to engage in Instagram because it's all about pictures and I'll take good pictures. Well, you have to start somewhere. When you start taking pictures, you get better and better and better at it. Now, this is what I tell my clients and this is what I'm going to tell you a secret. When you go on Instagram, remember you're telling a story. And I ask people, what's the story that you want to tell about yourself or your business on Instagram? What's the main point you want to get across? If you're going to be the character in the story, then make sure that you display your character the way you want people to talk about you. And so it's easy once you get started. You can have a lot of fun with it. On my particular Instagram page, I share my fashion photos. And so it's kind of like my fashion diary. And then I also share business tools and tips, quotes that I have. I share one quote at least every single morning. I tell people something inspiring, something to motivate them, to get them started, and because that's what I do as a coach. And then I share with them events and things that are happening in my life. And so it's a lifestyle blog. It's my entire life as a fashion blogger, a entrepreneur, and a business coach. And so I make sure that that's the story that you get on Instagram. Number three, as a business person, your audience wants to see your business in pictures, not just in words. And so you want to make sure that you start adding pictures concerning your business. What do you do in your business? Where are you going in your business? Who are you meeting with in your business? What happens during the day with your business? People want to see that. What's on the shelf in your stores? What are you selling? What do you have going on? Is there any special workshops you're doing? What's happening? Put that in picture form as well on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. We want to know what's happening in your business and we want a picture of it. Number four, equip yourself to capture your life and business in motion. Let me take a selfie. So that means that you want to make sure that you have a great camera. You want to have a camera on your phone and then you also want to have an additional camera. Now, let me tell you what I use because people always want to know. I love, there's two cameras that I use all the time. One is my Canon 
And that's a camera that I use that I record. I do lots of video recording on. It takes great pictures. Then the other camera that I use is my Samsung Galaxy, which I love because it can instantly upload to Instagram and to my website. And so I love that feature of that camera. And then of course, you know, if you know me, that I'm an iPhone lover. And so I love the iPhone and I love the pictures that I take with my phone in the video but I also use a lot of different apps, which you can see what apps I use by going to my website, lifecoachwomen.com, and see the past blog posts where I talk about that. Also, in closing, another uh, short tip I wanna share with you is that because we are so image conscious today, people do care about your image again on certain things, like your business cards. You know, it's good to put your picture on your business cards. Now, I have four sets of business cards, some with pictures, some without, but I found out that people that take my business card with a picture on them, usually engage with me with that business card. Somehow they say, hey, they follow up with the email, they say something to me by note, um, they go on my website and say, I checked you out and leave me a note on one of my blog posts, I met you at this event. But I found that when I get people the card that does not have an image of me on it, that I usually don't get a lot of engagement. So. I know personally that people like pictures. I know I like to get cards with pictures because I put a face with the person that I met. And so make sure that you're putting pictures back on your products, putting them on your um, business cards, putting them on your literature. Make sure that you have a picture on your site. When we first come to your site, I want to see who it is that I'm looking at, who am I engaging with. And of course, that depends on the type of business you have, but if you have a personal business, a coaching business, you wrote a book, you're doing workshops, I wanna know who's the person I'm going to see, buy from, attend their event. I wanna know what they look like. So pictures rule, image rules right now. When it comes to marketing and branding, you wanna add more images and more pictures of yourself, of your brand, of your products, it's going to make a big difference. I'm excited about the tour that's coming up where I'm going to share the rest of the content about how image rules right now. And I'm excited because you're going to see in person how image does really rule. You're going to see what we do as a team, as a staff, what we do concerning image and pictures and how it makes a big difference in your marketing. All right, so make sure that you do some of those things that I just said. Make sure that you start your Instagram or your Pinterest page. Make sure that you get a good camera so that you can capture great shots, lifestyle and business shots in motion. Make sure that you are putting pictures up with your blog. Make sure that you have pictures of yourself on your website so we know who we are engaging with. And make sure that you just start posting on Instagram. As you begin to post, you're gonna get better and better at the images that you put up. I just want you to take it to heart that image does really rule right now and that if you have been saying, you know what, I'm not that concerned about pictures, I'm not concerned about image, I'm just concerned about the content, then you're going to miss out on the new wave that's happening right now concerning branding and marketing. The new wave that's happening is in pictures. People love pictures and video and they love to see things right now. That's the wave that's happening. That's the turn that's happening in the business arena. So I just want to encourage my audience to get out your cameras, to start taking more pictures, and we want to see more of you and more of what you're doing. All right, I want to hear your feedback. You know, I always love to hear from you. I want to hear what it is that you're doing concerning pictures. How do you promote your business? Should send me some of your best pictures, post them up. Make sure that you give me some feedback right below. I want to hear how you're going to use this information. And my goodness, I really hope to see you in Atlanta at the Success Tour. This is our last stop. And I tell you, this workshop that I'm going to talk about image in a big way is going to really, really take your business over the top. Just wanted to give you a little bit, just wanted to share a little content with you, but I'm going to share the rest at the Success Tour. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.